Hello and welcome to another episode of Hooks and Dice. I'm Leila Kroka. We've got some uh, guests today, which is why you'll hear some clicking and tapping in video game sounds. It's uh, Tommy's brother and his brother's girlfriend. They're off screen. They're going to do their own thing while we run our blog today. I say yeah. our, I mean mine, with my guest <laughs> Tommy again. Yay. Yay. So we had tons of fun for Christmas. We got some nice presents. And one of the presents that I gave was a game called Dr Drunk, Stoned, or Stupid. It's a party card game. It's a blast. There's a couple of different ways to play. Uh, the cards come up and you try to accuse people of uh, that card being true about them. And they have to defend themselves and then a judge decides whether or not they have, they are... Help, help me say this. Guilty of the thing. Yeah, so, guilty of it. Yeah. And so it has a little statement on the card. So that one says, only text and emojis. So I could accuse Tommy of doing that because he's always on his cell phone. And he would say... Ah, uh, but I, I use texts. So I don't use emojis. So then the judge would decide if he uses the emojis or not and if he gets the card then uh he gets up to seven cards before he loses yeah. so and you take turns being the judge yeah everyone takes turns uh, it's a lot of fun it's very simple to learn and play uh we picked it up on norwegian site right yeah but you can probably get it on amazon or something like that mm -hmm. Uh, crocheting, uh, for Christmas, the person I gave the game to is the person, and along with his girlfriend, that gave me some new yarn. And it's shiny. I got lots of colors. It's not going to show up. Oh, yeah, I guess it is showing up. Good. That's dark blue, purple, of course, white, fuchsia. Red. I love the red. It's so rich. Gold, yellow. Lavender. And almost lime. Kind of a cross between lime and pea green. And they're all 100% acrylic, but they are not like American acrylic. It's not like worsted weight. It's, uh, it's kind of. It's not slick. There's another word for it. It's squeaky when mm. I crochet with it. Okay. Yeah, because remember the yarn that I showed last time mm -hmm. uh, that I had purchased myself? Yep. That's 100% acrylic too. Mm -hmm. But uh, that one is not shiny and feels almost like a cotton. Mm. And then the yarn that was gifted to me feels slick. It feels like it has something besides acrylic in it. Hmm. But neither one of them feel like worsted weight. So the American acrylic is quite a bit different than Norwegian for, is it Finnish? Uh, yeah, one of the, at least the one you wanted the to ones, translate. Yeah, the ones that I use that aren't shiny seem to be Finnish yarn. So that's kind of fun. Let me check the label on the ones that they gave me. Let's see. Probably Norwegian. Norwegian yeah. yeah, so I have Norwegian and Finnish yarn, and neither one of them are like the acrylic from the US. Yep. But I use them, let's see if I can get this facing the right way, to make a. It's not quite a tunic, and it kind of looks weird holding it up like this. <laughs> <laughs> but it fits, it's fitted, so that it kind of. <laughs> you know? And then it flows out from there. Um. I like the look of it. I should have used a larger size hook. I didn't check the gauge, so it's about six inches shy of what it should be. Yeah. And I think if I try the pattern again with maybe these new yarns, then uh, with a, the largest size hook, you know, maybe I'll get it to fit. But I don't have enough of any one color. It takes two skeins to make the project for each side yeah. Yeah. so I don't know 
I might go out and get some more of the acrylic that I bought. Yeah. And use that. Or if I have some left of the beige, and it is beige, yeah, and the green. Mm -hmm. I think those would be nice together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's almost the colors that were in the pattern. Yeah, the pattern is a, that kind of a lemony yellow mm -hmm. and a nice green. Yeah. So, so the close. beige will replace the yellow nicely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it'll work well. And if people are hearing squeaking sounds, that's the doggy. Chewing on a chew toy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so another game that we played this weekend was Exploding Kittens. Oh no, the poor kitties. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a fun game. It was another one that's simple to learn. Yep. And it's uh, got elements of other games in it. Like it has a nope card, which you can put down to stop somebody else's actions. So, I'm, yep. and there's one of the cards there, the nopes. And it has see the future, which is, uh, <laughs> yeah. And the, the art is so attractive, I, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's simple to play. The, there's actually a video on YouTube itself that gives the instructions on how to play. And yeah, it's like six minutes long. Yeah, so quick and easy yeah. to learn. Um, how many players? Uh, two to five. Two to five. And the other one is two to six, right? Four plus. Oh, four plus. I guess so you can play with as many people as you've got cards for. Well, you've got a lot of cards. Exactly. Just, um, so <laughs> it's it would go around a long time if you had more than, say, six. Yeah. So it's like 250 cards in there, so yeah. it shouldn't be a problem. So um, both games are It also yeah. says in the rules for this that if you want to play with more people, you could use two decks. Oh, yeah. So you can play with that makes people. sense. That's nice. Yeah. So, uh, both games are probably available on Amazon. This is the not safe for work uh, version? Yeah. So, check your labels if you've got kids you want to play with. Yeah. <laughs> I think the safe for work version is a red box. There you go. Black box not safe for work. Red is possibly the color of the safe for work. Yeah. I think so. Um, if you remember, I picked up some bamboo crochet hooks just for the price of shipping. And had them sent here and there are 12 hooks let me get them here see if you can see them with the light shining there we go that's 11 of them and I'm holding the 12th in my hand I used it this is the size K or 6.5 millimeters I believe can you read that uh, right here oh okay. right there yeah 6.5 yeah mm -hmm. so that's a size K hook in the US and it at first it it needed it was they all need sanding when you get them and this one even though it was sanded it was still a little rough so i just took the yarn needle that i have and scraped it back and forth really fast and that took off the remaining rough edges hmm. and after that i was able to crochet like a dream it fits great it's got a little groove here for your thumb so while you're working so it's it's really comfortable. I love the feel of it. Yeah. You know, it's bamboo. I love bamboo. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I recommend these hooks after all. I didn't at first because I'm like, we can't sharp or we can't file these damn things. But Tommy's mom has bone files. Yep. And she used those to rough, uh, take off the rough edges, and they work like a charm. So, uh, metal emery board would work as well. If, mm -hmm. if you don't have bone files, which I don't, but, you know, um, just a metal fingernail file will take off the edges for you. And then, like I said, the little bitty bit that was left, use your the eye of your yarn needle, just scrape it really fast, and you'll have a smooth hook. And it was, what, eight ninety five for yeah, the shipping? about there. Yeah. So, I mean, you can't beat that for a set of 12. It's got small ones up to the biggest. Let me see what the smallest one is. I would say it's this one. I'm going to need your help reading it. Three. Three? Mm -hmm. Just three? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So the smallest one is three, which I have no idea what size that is in the U.S. It doesn't have the U.S. sizes on them. It just has the millimeters. 
And this one is one centimeter, Ten. isn't it? No. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One centimeter. That's the biggest. Probably an N or a P, if I remember correctly. So, 12 sizes, $8.95, only a little bit of rough edges, which is to be expected because it's bamboo. Yeah. You know, you can sharpen it until the cows come home, and then you just have to really fine-tune it, and I don't think that they took the time to. Oh, well, they're giving them away, so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're basically, they're like, get this for free, and then you'll love our other stuff, yeah. That's how they draw you. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Pay the price of shipping, and then you're like, ooh, but I want this. And I want this. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, so Sunday, we went uh, to an escape room, which mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard of that. It's a room, it's run by a business that has different rooms with different themes, and they lock you in for an hour, and you have to escape the room using clues that are in the room. Um, you can do it by yourself, can't you? Uh, I think they say two people. Two at least. Uh, at least and then you can have larger groups as well. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it would probably take you longer than an hour to do it by yourself. Exactly. exactly. We did it's it a, in... It's a team uh, exercise. Yeah. And, and if you're a very large group, at least uh, this place and the other place I've been to offer team battles. So oh, you can uh, be in two different rooms and you compete to be the first to come out. That's awesome. Uh, we made it out with seven minutes to spare because, you know, <laughs> um, Tommy's brother and his brother's girlfriend were with us. It was the four of us, and we made a hell of a team. Yep. Everybody was really on it, really sharp. We only needed two hints from the establishment. Other than that, we... And we didn't even need the first hint because I was already on to it. Mm -hmm. They just... I guess they didn't hear me or, you know, they monitor. We're taking a little too long. Yeah, so either way, two hints yeah. for a whole hour. That's not bad. Yeah. I think we did a great job. A lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. I uh, don't know where in the U.S. they have escape rooms, but I'm sure if you look online, you'll be able to find them because they're all over the place. Uh, Michael said there are at least some in Seattle. Oh, yeah. So, so but my I'm Washington sure they're, friends. They're all over the place they've gotten quite popular yeah yeah it's uh we did a pirate themed one he with his work did a science themed one yep yep oh here comes mom <laughs> dinner ah it's dinner time so we're gonna cut this episode a little bit short thanks for watching and have a great day